Ijeo Dodo is a growing community of about 700 residents in Iba Local Council Development Area of Lagos State. Economically, majority of the inhabitants engage in agricultural activities and small-scale industry businesses. Others are also civil servants and retired professionals. We have over 700,000 residents close to a million. Then in terms of the properties, we have about 6,000 properties. Though some are yet to be occupied because of the fact that this place is a developing area. As you can see, work is going on over there. So, But the places that are actually occupied, there are over 3,000 people. And when you look at those premises, you look at the families living there, a family of six, a family of four. In fact, when I came into this community, two major challenge was what we were facing, the road and the light. When the crew of Lagos Community Update visited Ijeo Dodo, we saw how with the collective will of the people, they were able to solve and provide a lasting solution to the perennial problem in the community. For years, we were told that residents of this peaceful community have had to contend with protracted electricity outage resulting from pipeline fire outbreak, a situation that puts commercial activities in comatose. In fact, residents abandoned their homes for safer and conducive environment. In the time past, when we are approaching Christmas season like this, we, we are not sure that we will spend it with light because that is the period that either fire incident or weather or we make the post at the swamp to be destroyed and we will be out of light for almost six months. So that light challenge was one of our biggest problems. You can never tell when it's going to happen. And when it happens, you cannot say when it's going to be repaired. The community was gradually becoming a shadow of itself. A quick and urgent solution was the only thing on the lips of these community leaders. According to some of the community leaders who spoke to Lagos Community Updates, they decided to embark on self-liberation development projects by replacing all the wooden electricity poles that are easily affected by fire outbreak with concrete ones. After waiting for the electricity distribution company for months without positive response in sight, we decided that we should uh, uh, take the initiative on our own and see what we can do. And uh, the committee was set up, like I said, two members of I mean, two committee members from each of these 10 CDAs and the receipts were printed. We, you know, deploy ourselves to, this, to, 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 to each of the uh, CDA. We are complementing the effort of the government and we too, we know that uh, the government cannot do it all alone. So we decided to do, especially the light something, we wanted to do the project so that uh, we can benefit our economic this here can be maybe a life again because when there's no light, it's as if the community is temporarily dead. When the community leader decided to take up that challenge, it was very heartwarming to some of us. And we all embrace it. And we make sure that we play our role to make sure that that project was successful. Even which involved going to supervise the people working there every day to make sure that the project was fully completed. With 33 wooden poles replaced, Members of Ijeo Dodo community now have respite and can heave a sigh of relief from prolonged electricity power outage. Taxi traders are able to trade. You know, it's, the community is almost off the road. So what we have here are petty people, people that are hairdressers, barbers, uh, those welders that naturally are always out of job. People that use sell ice water, people that sell pure water, sell cold drinks, they were out of job because of the erratic nature of the electricity. But with the little assistance given to the community, with the light now constant, now you see that uh, people are really enjoying it. Instead of people going out to get some things now, a lot of things that are naturally being purchased from outside now, we can easily get it inside there. So I think it has gone a long way. The benefit of power, as it were, to the community, you can never, never, you know, quantify it. It is massive. It is. It, 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 it brought a whole lot of cost savings in every aspect. Those who are doing business, even in the in the, in the individual homes, okay, you have 
opportunity to now preserve your 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 food, your items, and whatever. If you go and the, through the main street, you see that almost all the business centers are now working. All right, they don't you don't hear sound of a generator here and there now. So the economic activity has actually picked up. Aside working on electricity project, members of Ijeo Dodo Community Development Partners also put palliative measures on the only road that links the community with other surrounding communities. We reason to NMPC, most me, and that's why we decided on our own that let's make the road a bit passable. And we wrote to them then, and they came, they saw the effort the road development partners made. We have to first of all appreciate what the government is doing in the community. You know, is 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 a community gradually coming up. And you know the government cannot do everything. The government at a, at a point in time has come to our rescue. At times they give us latter rights, we put on the road. Yeah, but you know the government cannot do everything. That was why some concerned citizens came together and said, okay, let us see what we can do to assist the government. Even if it is if it if not be enough, at least it will be seen that we are not sitting idle. They are calling on individuals, government and corporate organizations to be their development partner in piloting the affairs of the Dodo community to a successful destination. We reached out to corporate organizations, but unfortunately the response was very poor. Of all the corporate bodies that are in our immediate vicinity, it was only two that responded. NNPC have tried. We won't, we won't take, let us not take that from them. They've, at one point or the other, to my knowledge, have assisted your community, but can still do more. We provide religious organizations, maybe companies, and even banks, and individuals, like Dangote, like any of them, because this community is a place that is peaceful, and that any commercial activity they bring here will flourish. But unfortunately, the road is just a stigma. We are using this medium to call on them to please come over to Macedonia and help, to Ijeo Dodo and help us. Music